You don't need no Oh, I class niggas This shit sound crazy This shit sound crazy Put it to a man, you know what I'm saying? Put my man, man, nigga love Shit, you don't need no Put it to a man, you know what I'm saying? This down all the cut lane, you don't even know Just have me in the cut My name is Nikolai Paul, from Silver Spring, Maryland Originally from uh, Trinidad and Tobago Every time I say that, people say like Nicki Minaj No, not like Nicki Minaj Like, uh, I guess like Nicki Minaj, sure From Trinidad and Tobago, but I grew up here in uh, Silver Spring But that was the area, so I'm a local guy Oh, you guys have a Christian Mingo on the website? Yeah. Yeah. Christian Mingle. Yeah. So, yeah. you know Christian Mingle, where they uh, tell you that God will find a perfect match for you? I'm really nervous about going to Christian Mingle because God and I, we don't have a good rap sheet. And I can see him pairing me up with a broad that looks just like me. And that's not cute. Because from the shit I've done, I can see God saying, go fuck yourself. You know I mean? Go fuck yourself, dude. Comedy? Um... Three months, well, about two months and like two days. So sort of relatively new. Brand new comedy. Um, I've always wanted to do comedy uh, since I was like a little kid watching the Keaton McKell show on Nickelodeon. But I finally got enough balls to just come out and do it. My first set was at the uh, Brass Monkey in the Alice Morgan. I did my set and it was complete silence. <laughs> The whole thing was complete silence. Uh, it was an utter feeling of disaster, but I learned from it. Um, and it was a good experience. I, no, no bad experiences. Um, anything bad that happened, it was a learning experience. Um, I mean, there are times where I forget my lines during the set, um, and I won't get the reaction I'm looking for or uh, I was planning on. Um, that's not a bad experience, that's more of a learning experience. Um, but I've had some great ones just hearing the crowd's reactions to my joke that I wrote. Um, that's what I do it for. I uh, tried to go to the bar and talk to girls because I thought my self esteem was way too high that day. So I haven't, I haven't cried in three days, so something must be wrong because I thought I'd go to the bar and talk to girls to fix it. Um, and I mean, I like the bars, they're cool. What I really hate about the girls, answer me this question. What's with the fucking circle you guys make on a dance floor, like a fucking invisible wall that no guys can penetrate? What's that about? Well, I guess two months in, I figured I'll be with Kim Kardashian um, by now, but it's not working out like that. So, I don't know, I might be. <laughs> so, I don't really have any, any expectation. My expectation was to go out and have fun. Um, and I'm doing that so far. Um, yeah, I'm just taking taking it one step at a time and see where it takes me. But most people that know me, friends, coworkers, they would say that I masturbate too much. So <laughs> I talk about that a lot. I'm going through lotion at a record pace. Like I can't just deal with the CVS brand lotion. You know what I mean? I have sensitive skin. I need like Macy's Jergens with like shit number number five. I need that good shit. You know? When I masturbate, I love I love masturbating. So um. I actually do talk about masturbation because it's, it's a very taboo thing that people don't talk about. And I think once people hear it, they're surprised. And I think that's hilarious. Um, I talk about that, I talk about relationships, um, just social things like Instagram, making fun of people on Instagram. Like a bunch of my friends have names like Money Grabber, 202, Tip, Him, Bin, 101. Well, I feel like they should name themselves something more appropriate, like Lives at Home, 202. Or no license. You know, so there's things to go on today. My personality, um, off stage, I'm very reserved and quiet. People will say that about me. And for me to be doing comedy, that's the polar opposite of what I am. Um, so when I tell people I'm a comedian, they're shocked. You know, shocked and surprised. Hopefully, Oh, fingers crossed, the goal is to be doing this full time because what I've seen so far, I absolutely love it. I love the lifestyle. I love meeting new people every time I go on. Um, I love making people laugh. I love using my creativity. So hopefully in two years, this can be my full time job. And um, as of right now, I don't think of it as a job because I'm doing what I want to do, if that makes sense. Um, there's a quote that says, um, in life, do what you want to do, um, and if that happens, you'll never work a day in your life, so that's what I'm trying to do.
People can find me on Twitter at Hi Nikolai. Hi as in hi, not hello. <laughs> Um, I just started that. It's a hot vlog. It's just me using camp cannabis and talking a bunch of nonsense. If you would find it very entertaining, you can find me on Facebook at Anson Paul. That's my uh, birth name. Um, those two places right now. Soon to come is a weekly podcast um, by the name Hi Nikolai again. So you guys look out for that on iTunes. Media Nikolai, keep it certified. Your name, no. Class, nigga. This shit sound crazy. This shit sound crazy. Flash it on me. Flash it on me.